Have you just installed iOS 15 developer or a public beta on your iPhone and found it too buggy? Does your iPhone battery drains a lot and you are fed up with that? And you wish to downgrade from iOS 15 beta to the stable version of iOS 14? If the answer is yes, then my friend watch this video till the end just because I will guide you how to do that. Hello all, I am Nikhil from iGeeks blog and today in this video, I'll show you a detailed guide about downgrading from iOS 15 developer or a public beta to the stable version of iOS 14. But before I share with you, I would like to request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Now if you have done that, let's first understand requirement of it. You will require Mac or a Windows PC. You will require to download IPSW file, don't worry, I'll share with you, like I'll share the link with you. And make sure you cannot restore iOS 15 backup to the iOS 14. So make sure to take backup, like manual backup of your photos, documents, videos or other files to services like iCloud, Google Drive, Dropbox or more. And if you have backed up your iPhone before installing iOS 15, then my friend, you are smart. See, I always recommend people to take backup before they upgrade to the latest version of iOS, especially the beta version. That helps to easily restore the device just in a case if you wish to downgrade, just like this. So now you understand and gather all the required details, let's jump into the process. The first required thing is to download iOS 14 IPSW file. Open the website ipsw.me, select iPhone from here, select your iPhone model. In my case, I want to downgrade to the iOS 14 for my iPhone 6s. Select the IPSW file to download. Now before you move ahead and start restoring the device, you will require to alter one setting on your iPhone 2. Open settings, tap on your profile name. Right from here, turn off find my iPhone. It will ask for your iPhone passcode. Add it and turn it off. Now once IPSW file is downloaded, connect your iPhone to Mac or a PC. In my case, I am using a Mac and don't worry, I'll show you the pointers for a Windows 2. If you have a Mac running Mac OS High Sierra or a earlier or a Windows PC, you will require to download and install iTunes on that. Or if you have a Mac running Mac OS Catalina or a letter, you will need a help of Finder app to restore your iPhone. Once you connect your iPhone, locate it under iTunes or in Finder. Now put your device in a recovery mode and make sure your iPhone is connected to your Mac or a PC. Putting an iPhone in a recovery mode is a little bit tricky and have a different methods for various iPhone models. So if you are using iPhone 8, 10 or a letter model, press and release volume up button, press and release volume down button and press and hold the side button until you see a recovery screen on your iPhone. For iPhone 7 and 7 plus, press and hold the side and a volume down button at the same time until you see the recovery screen on your iPhone. And for iPhone 6s and earlier, press and hold the home and side button at the same time until you see the recovery screen on your iPhone. Now on your Mac or a PC, you will see an, an option to restore your iPhone. On a Mac, you will require to press and hold the option key and select restore iPhone. Or on a Windows, press and hold the shift key and select restore iPhone. It will prompt a message, read that and select restore. Now we will require to select the IPSW file that we have downloaded earlier. Select the file and let the system get the job done. Once the process completes, the iPhone will restart and you will see the setup screen on your iPhone running iOS 14. From here, you may pick an option to restore it from a backup or skip it for now. That was easy, right? But if you are facing any issue while downgrading, share it with me in the comments down below. I'll be happy to help you with that. And also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for all such great amazing content. I'm Nikhil signing off. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay connected.